What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Delta Mod. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, what are your thoughts on eggnog? Leave your comments right down there in the box below. Oh, good old eggnog. Back in the day, I was absolutely repulsed by this stuff, but now that I'm an adult, I do drink it, although it's better with a little splash of alcohol in there, maybe some bourbon or something like that. But I think the second part of this question should be, if you drink eggnog, do you drink it with alcohol in it? Let me know right down there in the comments box below. So this is a collaboration project between TVL and Revenant, and this one was given to me by Francisco Estrada. Big shout out to him and TVL for sending me one of these devices for the purpose of making this video. This is by far one of the coolest squonk devices that's out there on the market currently. It's got a push to squonk feature. The filling system is super easy on the bottom. It's compatible with 21700s and it's a regulated device. So taking a quick look online, this device is available in four different color options for you to choose from. Comes in rainbow, black and red, black and silver, and silver and gold. And it's going to run you about 135 bucks for the kit, including the reload RDA on top here. So overall, that is a little bit on the expensive side, but if you think about what you're getting with this device here, all the features and everything, I think it's a pretty darn good deal. If you guys want to pick one up, it is available for pre-order currently at this time. I'll leave a link to that on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got our Delta Mod in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll talk about what's inside. So cool looking design to the box, in my opinion. You got an interesting background, nice picture of the device right there. Delta logo, Revenant and TVL logos right there. Nothing around the outside edges of the box whatsoever. And on the back, we have all of the pertinent information. If you guys want, you can freeze frame this real quick or whatever. But a uh, little write up on the device right there, what comes in the box, some company information, and some warnings and that kind of thing with the UPC right there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and take a look what we get inside. First things first is going to be, well, the Delta Mod itself, if I can get it out of the box. There we go. We have the Delta Mod and Reload RDA combo right there. Little surprise inside the mod here. We have an 18650 adapter. So if you feel like using this thing with an 18650, there you go. 21700 or 2700s just fit right in the tube just like that. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second here. We also get a little refill bottle. So if your bottle has a glass dripper, then they have your back right here with this little refill bottle. It's compatible with the nozzle at the bottom. So there you go. We have a, of course, obligatory USB cable. This is one of the nice kind of nylon braided ones with a little spring end so it doesn't fray or break or anything like that so extra bonus points for that and we have our baggie of parts pretty much your typical stuff for today's day and age we've got a standard flat pin we've got an extra set of grub screws we've got a couple of pre-made coils which actually look pretty decent uh, we've got a little T screwdriver, a full set of O-rings, and a 510 drip tip adapter right there. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it takes 2700, 21700, or 18650 batteries with use of the included battery adapter. The power range is 5 to 100 watts. The resistance range is 0.03 to 5 ohms. Tank capacity is 6.5 mils of e-liquid, and the display is a 0.96 inch TFT color screen. It comes with a reload RDA, a plastic refill, bottle, three Clapton pre-made coils, and a 510 drip tip adapter. All right, guys, so let's fire up this Delta Mod. First thing we're going to do is pop in our battery, just like that, positive up towards the top, and shut it just like that. And it comes on very, very quickly. The screen is already on and ready to vape. You can lock and unlock your mod with three clicks on the fire button. Power down on this side here, power up on this side here. This middle button is basically like a select button, so you can get into this, the menu system with this button here, three clicks, one, two, three, and you get into this menu system here, up and down with the plus and minus, and the rest is pretty much history. So very, very simple, easy to use menu system. Overall, very easy to use device. We've got a uh, USB charging port right there if you want to charge it with that. Otherwise, you can take the battery out to charge, of course. As you can see, my screen has a big dent in it, so you got to be really careful and gentle with this screen. Don't put any sharp objects against it or anything like that, and uh, we'll be talking about that a little bit later here, but uh, 
Uh, on the top here, we have our push to squonk feature, just as simple as pushing this button a few times and it fills up your RDA with juice. Uh, gets a little bit fiddly towards the end of the tank, but overall, it's really not too bad. And I really, really do like it because it just makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Definitely easier than pushing on a squonk bottle and waiting for it to refill itself and all that. So uh, I really like that feature a lot. On the bottom here, we have our refill little nozzle piece there. Just push any standard Chubby Gorilla or plastic unicorn bottle against it. Give it a squeeze and you can fill this thing up in a matter of a couple of seconds. On this side here, we have our little windows so you can see how much juice you have left. A little bit difficult to see in there, but you can kind of just tilt your mod every so often and you can see how much juice you have left before this thing runs dry. I would recommend keeping this thing pretty much topped up. Once it gets below this, this level right about here, it's really time to top this thing up because the squonking, uh, push to squonk action does take a couple more presses on that button there to fill up your RDA. As for the reload RDA, it's got an 810 drip tip up top there. And just to show you guys, it is in fact 810. I got this dead rabbit tip right here and just pops right into place. No problem whatsoever. It does have an O-ring on the inside lip of this top cap section, which holds onto those drip tips really nicely. It has a little bit of knurling around the top edge of the top cap, which makes it a little bit easier to grip onto the airflow control ring. You can see it working right there there. You can open or close your airflow just like that. Just a simple little Cyclops eye, which is of course dueled on the other side there. As you can see, we've got kind of like a curve going on there uh, to this top cap section. I don't think that's matched on the inside. It's just a straight, straight bore all the way through on the inside there with our cap locking mechanism, a uh, little uh, notched out section on the inside. It is a domed top cap, so you do get really nice flavor off of this thing. As you can see, I've got a mesh coil built on there right now, and the performance is absolutely stellar with mesh. I would really highly recommend if you guys do get one of these things, try it out with a mesh coil because it works really well and very efficient. So uh, it's also compatible with a single coil if you want to build it like that as well. You can see the screws on the side there, which are flat head, and I've never had any problems with skipping or stripping or anything of that nature. Two O-rings hold the barrel section in place, which I've never had any issues with that as well. Overall, a pretty darn good dripping atomizer or squonking atomizer. You can use this either or. It does come with a flat pin in the box. But yeah, uh, I've never really had any issues with this. I've barely ever over squonked it. It is possible to over squonk this thing if you push the button a million times. But overall, uh, it's just a simple couple of presses on this thing to reload it with liquid. And it's just as simple as that. Other than the fact that this thing is a massive fingerprint magnet, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this device in this little close-up section here. So let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is the push to squonk feature. This thing is absolutely brilliant. I really love the fact that you could just push that top button, it sends juice up into your RDA, and you are often vaping. It works especially well when the tank is above halfway full. I've noticed that it gets a little bit finicky towards the bottom of the tank, but it's super easy to fill with the bottom fill port. Speaking of filling this thing, my second Pro is the fill port at the bottom. That is such a genius idea. It does not leak one little bit. I've filled this thing up so many times. I've gone through about 360 mils on this device here and not a drop has leaked out the bottom, which is super duper impressive. You don't have to take the battery cover off at all to fill this thing up. You just take your bottle, push it up against the fill port and give it a squeeze. My third pro for this one is that the reload RDA works especially well with mesh coils. I've been using the same mesh coil on this thing for three weeks straight now and the performance has been stellar the whole time. I've got it set to 50 watts and that makes my battery last all day long, no problem with a single 21700. And with that, the vapor production and flavor production that I'm getting off of this thing is excellent. And my fourth and final pro for this device is that it's comfortable. One of the main things I really don't like about most squonkers is where you actually have to squeeze the bottle. With this one here, you don't have to worry about that at all. You have this nice curved edge on the front, which is usually where I hold onto it with my four fingers here. And the button place is very natural feeling as well. Switching between the fire button and the squonk action is super simple and after a while you just kind of get used to it. Squonk, squonk, vape.
All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is the battery door. Now, typically, I'm not a huge fan of the bottom latch style battery doors, and this is no exception here. It's a little bit on the weaker side, so if you have kind of a rough surface or something that you're putting it down on top of, especially like a vape mat that I use all the time, and you pull it ever so slightly, you can release the latch and the battery will fall out. Luckily, the tank of juice will stay in there, but it's kind of annoying when your battery loses contact and you have to start your mod up all over again. My second con for this device is that that it's hard to shut it off without firing your coils. Now, the response rate on the chip is incredibly fast, which is a really good thing otherwise, but you turn this device off by tapping the fire button five times and you always end up firing your mod. So with that, I had completely dry cotton on there one day and I absolutely roasted it by trying to shut this device off. My third con today is that the screen is made of a very soft plastic and can be damaged easily. So you really gotta be careful with this one here. I was holding onto a bottle of juice at a weird angle and it ended up denting my screen screen and that has been super annoying over the past few weeks. I would really like to have seen them do some sort of a hard plastic cover for the screen just to protect it a little bit more. And my fourth and final con for this one is definitely a minor one, but it's a fingerprint magnet. This thing is just going to eat up all the fingerprints. 90% shiny surface area on this device here, which means every time you go to take a picture of it, you're going to have to rub it off on your sleeve. Not a major complaint whatsoever, just kind of stating the obvious. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to this one. This device has been my daily driver for at least three weeks now, and that is really something because I'm not the biggest Squonk Mod fan in the world, but the Delta has kind of changed my mind on that, especially with the convenience features of the push to Squonk and the bottom fill, super duper easy, 21700 battery life and regulated, just makes my life a whole lot easier. So $135, price tag is a little bit on the steep side, but considering that you get a really nice RDA and an excellent Squonk mod, I think that is worth it right there for me personally. So if you guys are interested in this product, it's available now for pre-order on TVL's website. I'll link that on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down there in the box below and check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on.